Hey, welcome to a very special edition of iFanboy Mini. I'm Ron Richards, and I'm here today to talk to you about the San Diego Comic-Con. It starts tomorrow. It's crazy. Uh, San, the San Diego Comic-Con is the biggest gathering of comic books, movies, video games, geek culture in the, in, in the world. Um, it's been going on for well over 30 years, and each year so the city of San Diego uh, grows by about a quarter of a million people as we all come to attend this convention. The convention's got a great lineup this year. There are special guests like Jim Lee, Ed Brubaker, Keith Giffen, Brian Hitch, Jeff Johns, Jim Starlin, and pretty much anybody who works in the comic book industry is going to be at this convention. So if you're a comic fan and, you, and you're not attending, you should get down to San Diego and check it out. If you are attending, there's some great stuff um, that you can check out in the world of comic books, some great panels, some great programming, and I just want to highlight a couple of the panels I'm looking forward to. So on Thursday, um, if you're a fan of Wanted or Final Crisis, the book that DC's out right now, artist J.G. Jones is going to be, there's going to be a spotlight all on his work as he's a special guest of the convention. Um, but for you X-Men fans, you could check out, there's going to be a panel with um, Ed Brubaker and Matt Fraction, who are the current writers of the X-Men franchise, talking about the changes in the books and what's going on there. Um, but at 3.30 on Thursday, there's a great panel led by Entertainment Weekly called Comic Book Visionaries that's going to have Grant Morrison, Jim Lee, Mike Mignola, who's the creator of Hellboy, John Cassidy, the artist on Astonishing X-Men, and Robert Kirkman, the creator of Invincible. That's going to be a panel of, of all the all-stars in comics. You definitely want to check that out. Um, and also, to end up today on Thursday is the ever-popular DC Nation panel that uh, Editor-in-Chief Dan DiDio leads, and Jeff Johns will be present answering all your questions about what's going on in the DC Universe. If you're a fan of Star Wars, Friday is the day you want to get to the convention. They deemed uh, Friday a Star Wars day with special programming for Star Wars fans, and there's going to be a ton of great stuff. The guys in the Stormtroopers are always there, so uh, Friday is definitely a great day to check out for Star Wars. But it's also a great day as the movie panels start happening, and the first one and the one that I'm going to be attending is the one at noon on Friday, all about The Watchmen. Uh, Zack Snyder's directing this movie, I'm dying to see some footage from it, so hopefully this panel will have some cool footage. Um, at 1.30 on Friday, uh, for you Joss Whedon fans, he's going to be in attendance running his panel. Um, he's going to be talking about his new project, Dr. Horrible, which is awesome, as well as the Buffy the Vampire Slayer and the Firefly comics that have been popular of, of recent date. Um, for you webcomic fans, the Penny Arcade guys will be there holding a panel at 5.30. And finally, you can round out your day at 6 o'clock with uh, the DC panel all about Final Crisis. Grant Morrison will be there hopefully explaining what's going on in his, uh, in his summer crossover book. Saturday is the biggest day of the convention. Uh, that's when the most uh, TV and movie stuff kind of happens. And if you're a fan of TV shows, you're probably a fan of Heroes. The entire cast is going to be on hand at 10.30 in the morning for the Heroes panel, as well as uh, Tim Kring, the series creator, and Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale. A lot of the creative forces behind Heroes, they'll be talking about it. Um, if you're a music fan, you're definitely going to want to check out at 11.30 on Saturday uh, the Image Comics panel with Tori Amos. She's going to be there talking about the comic book Tattoo, the new book that is, uh, has various comic creators interpreting her songs through comics, so that's going to be a very cool one to check out. And finally, for you Marvel fans, uh, there's going to be a couple panels you want to check out later in the day, one all dedicated to Secret Invasion, their big summer event, as well as a panel called The Ultimate Universe Must Die, which is probably going to answer a lot of our questions about what's going on with The Ultimate Universe. I know we're all curious where, where they're going to be taking that. Finally, Sunday is a great day to kind of take it easy at the convention. Not as many panels. It's a good day to get deals with the, with the exhibitors. Um, a lot of guys selling comics, they start slashing prices on Sunday because they don't want to take it home with them. So you're going to want to hit the exhibit floor. Or if you want to check out some panels, um, there's one at 10.30 uh, called Marvel, Women in Marvel, which is uh, highlighting the women who work in comics. Uh, not so much the women uh, comic characters, rather the women who have help get the comics out the door. And also, finally, uh, a very rare occasion in San Diego, we have two DC Nation panels from DC Comics. This one on Sunday is at 11.45, and it promises a big announcement. So uh, you're going to want to check that out. But there are literally hundreds of panels and things you can go to. You can get all the details at comiccon.org. That's comic-con.org. And don't forget, the iFanboy guys are going to be appearing on Thursday at 5 o'clock on the Comic Book Podcasters panel, so you definitely want to check that out. Um, but the panels aren't the only thing you want to check out. You want to check out the exhibit floor. There are tons of booths. There are great um, movie studios, video game companies, comic book publishers. Everybody's there on the exhibit floor. But also there are artists. It's a great place to get sketches and pick up prints and art books from your favorite artists. One booth you definitely want to check out is booth 2207. And that's going to be the booth of Darwin Cook, Cameron Stewart, and David Bullock. You might recognize Darwin Cook from uh, DC's The New Frontier. He's one of our favorite artists. And Cameron Stewart from the other side. Um, they're, they're going to be on hand signing and, and selling their art books. But also they're going to have a, a ton of their friends and other comic creators coming through doing signings. Grant Morrison. 
Jensen, Ed Brubaker, Jason Aaron. They're all going to be attendants. We're going to be hanging out there a lot, so definitely check out booth 2207. But we're going to be spread out across the entire floor. We're covering the convention. We're going to be talking to all the creators that you hopefully want to hear about. Um, specifically, we're going to be talking to Robert Kirkman. Uh, you might have heard about his new Invincible cartoon series from MTV. If you stay tuned after this episode, we've got a special trailer. You can check out the Invincible cartoon. We're going to be talking to Robert about what that experience is like, as well as all the projects he's got coming up, as well as other great creators. You know, we're going to be looking looking for you know the likes of like Greg Rucka, Jeff Johns, J. Michael Straczynski, whoever we can talk to. We're going to get on video. We're going to talk to him and deliver it to you. So um, be sure to head over to ifanboy.com where you can check out all the goings-ons about the convention. We're also going to be holding up a meetup uh, with the Tully Rad Show guys, another Revision 3 show that you should be watching. Uh, so go to ifanboy.com to get all those details and head over to revision3.com forward slash ifanboy to watch all of our comic shows. But you're also going to want to stay tuned for in August when our big San Diego shows come out. Uh, last year we had, it was a two-parter. We had over an hour and a half of footage for you. This year is going to be no different. It's going to be much bigger. So head over to revision3.com forward slash ifanboy and make sure you don't miss it. And if you're going to the convention, wear comfortable shoes. Trust me. And bring water.